I'm a huge fan of cinema. I used to go see a movie probably once a week, but in China it's not so simple. There are fewer options. Uh, it's not as easy as just showing up at the theater and buying a ticket. In this video, I'll break down the cinema industry in China, how to buy a ticket, how they choose which Hollywood blockbusters come here, when they'll be released, and what it's like to go see a movie in China. I'm planning to go see Spider-Man Homecoming today. Today is the 12th of September, and it's about two months after the film was released pretty much everywhere else in the world. Uh, this is the case for many summer blockbusters. The new Planet of the Apes movie isn't even out yet. Dunkirk came out last week. It's often called the Hollywood blackout, but in China they've referred to it as the domestic movie protection period. And it's basically, it's a way to support their domestic movie industry. Hollywood kind of makes a big deal out of it because they lose a lot of money since summer is a more popular time to go see movies. But I mean, I think Spider-Man's made $650 million. Uh, that's profit. So they're gonna, they'll be okay, I think. Uh, but it does kind of suck for me. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I read the comics growing up, so I've been anticipating this movie for a long time. And also there's really no movie to go see in the summer other than Chinese movies, but they don't subtitle them. So I basically can't go see any movies during the summer. Other times of the year, movies will be out around the same time as the rest of the world, sometimes earlier because of the time difference. But not all big American films will make it to theater in China. In fact, they only allow a certain number I think it, the number's at 38 right now. They're, they're talking about raising it, but as of now, they only allow 38 foreign films in Chinese theaters per year. The government ultimately decides what can be shown in Chinese theaters. They'll cut some sex scenes, some violent scenes, but they'll also cut out anything that shows China in a negative way. And sometimes it's really silly stuff, like Mission Impossible 3 was censored because Tom Cruise walked by some underwear that was hanging out to dry in Shanghai. Uh, the, I guess the censors felt it didn't portray the city in a very positive light. So that scene was cut out. They still allowed the movie, but it was an edited version of the film. Uh, but some films will be banned completely. The Ghostbusters remake was banned because it promotes cults or superstition. Um, Deadpool was banned because it was too violent. The Departed got banned because the gangsters in it tried to, try to sell some weapon technology to some Chinese villains. Uh, China's the second largest cinema market in the world, so it's a pretty big deal to get banned. In order to get approved, some films have actually added pro-Chinese scenes. In China, there's a scene in the Iron Man 3 movie that shows Chinese doctors discussing surgery on Tony Stark. The scene was completely pointless, and it, it was only included in the Chinese version of the film. For the film Doctor Strange, China influenced both the script and the casting. The original comic and the first draft of the script had the Chosen One, who was the Doctor's mentor. He was a Tibetan character. The filmmakers knew that a Tibetan character could get the film banned in China, so they rewrote it and they cast Tilda Swinton, an English woman, to play the Chosen One. When I first came to China, I went to a cinema and tried to buy tickets, and they looked at me like I was insane. Um, the cost was $10, but I later found out that if you buy it through your phone, you'll pay half that. So that's what everybody does. Um, $10 is a little much to pay for a normal 2D movie, in China at least. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now on my phone. Okay, the app I'm using for this is Dianping. I made a video about this app a few weeks back. Uh, you can click the card up at the top of the screen and it'll pause this video and you can watch that video first if you want. This is the start. If you go over, this is kind of a more section. The very last icon on the top and it will show a list, reviews for leisure, for all kinds of stuff. And there we go, the movie show section, popcorn, and Spider-Man's right up at the top. That's Dunkirk, Planet of the Apes, some Chinese films. This is a list of all the films that are playing in Chengdu. So there's quite a few here. A lot of them are Chinese though. So there's a rating for it, the name, um, I don't know, some other information. So a little book, the ticket, and watch the trailer if I want. Again, there's the name. It says in here somewhere what the language is. Um, I know this one's in English, so I'm not gonna translate it, but I can always screen cap it and, and run it through Microsoft Translator. You can put the picture in, it'll translate all the text. Right now it is sorted to where the theater is, how close it is to me. Um, so there's, a bunch of theaters showing it, like a ton of them. I'm gonna go with 
the first option because it's around the corner from my house. And now it will show me all the different times. So I'm going to go for, I think, the 7, 7, 7.25, 7 o'clock nine cheaper for some reason. Uh, maybe that has to do with the size of the theater. 725, yeah, this is a much bigger theater, probably a better projector. So you have to select your seats here. So I want one, if I just click one, it's gonna put me in what they say is the best seat. But I don't really, really like sitting close to people. I prefer to kind of sprawl out a little bit. So I'm gonna go right there on the aisle. Yeah, that's a good spot. So there it is, 49. Bye. I don't know if that means bye, but whatever that means. And then it says something there. I don't know what that says. You're going to do this. Okay. Do you want any popcorn type thing? But I don't need any of that stuff. So go. Now it's asking me to pay. So I'm going to pay through WeChat. And then it's going to open up. In WeChat, confirm you want to pay the theater that much. Yep. And now I gotta put in my code. <laughs> Boom. Success. That's it. I got my QR code. I can use that to get my tickets and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Alright, here I am. Look at that. Spider-Man advertisement. So these machines here will get me my ticket. Um, usually there's a scanner here. They've covered it up for some reason, so I may not have to input a number. So I open up DM Ping, Spider-Man, notification right there that you ordered this ticket. And yes, I am ready to use it. English, pick up your tickets, booking reference, enter. Printing, boom. I just wanted to show you guys what the cost would be if I didn't buy them ahead of time. 90, I paid 49. So it really helps a lot to book it ahead of time. That's it. I thought that was a really good Spider-Man movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And make sure you subscribe. After you subscribe, you can click the little bell icon to get yourself notified. And remember, don't get attacked by a bear because they got lots of hair.